Hey people, if you're looking for some colorful inspiration on some potential interior color palettes, then stay glued to your screen because we have three pairs of colors that work together beautifully and they're all by Benjamin Moore. I'm James from thepaintpeople.com and this is Color Combos, where we discuss paint colors that just belong together. Because we all know that in a lot of cases, just one color isn't enough. So in this episode, we're going to stick to three pairs of two colors. And in addition to being from the same company, they're all from the exact same collection of colors. Just as a disclaimer, even though these are Benjamin Moore colors, you don't necessarily need to use Benjamin Moore products to take advantage of them because most reputable paint companies can do crossover color matches from different companies into their specific products. If you want a little more detail on that process, I'll leave a link to our crossover formula video in the cards up top and in the description down below. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about these colors. The ones I wanted to share with you today are all part of the Affinity color palette, which is notated by any color code starting with AF by Benjamin Moore. The Affinity line was released alongside Aura paint, and they were pretty much made to go hand in hand. But nowadays you're able to get these colors in the other products as well which is good news. What I love about this particular color collection is its overall concept. All of these colors, all 144 of them, were put together and formulated to harmonize with one another, meaning it made things a lot easier for consumers or even people like myself to coordinate colors together. You no longer have to stress about certain colors clashing with one another, and you can then change your colors up from room to room with confidence, which really does a great job at promoting creativity and self-expression. This means that you could theoretically take two or three colors from the affinity line, hold them up together, and they just seem to work so nicely. Let's get into the three pairs that we've selected to talk about today that sort of gives you an idea of how fun your color schemes can become. Starting with AF100 Pashmina. Now this is a color that stands out by not standing out a whole lot. It does a very good job at remaining fairly neutral in its undertones. It's sort of a gray, beige, almost muddy looking color, and I don't mean that disparagingly either. It's a little bit darker, so it's one that you would want to use in areas that have sufficient lighting. Perhaps an abundance of pot lights would work really nicely with it. It also can have a slight green tinge, especially with those newer, brighter LED lights that people are installing these days. As for its paired color, you might be tempted to do the safer option and just pick a lighter gray beige color with similar undertones, and that would be fine. I would probably recommend that as a starting point for a lot of people, but take advantage of the affinity collection and how easily you can mix and match these colors seamlessly. If you are a bit concerned about that slightly green nature of pashmina, then you can neutralize that green by overcompensating with a cooler color to provide some balance. Why not go with AF515 Exhale? It's a beautiful sky blue color that shares the same level of depth to pashmina, which I always find is a handy little trick to coordinate colors. Not only is it important to consider the hue and tone of each color, but why not coordinate the LRV as well? In this case, they only have a difference of about three percentage points. But my favorite part about this pairing is Pajmina's interaction with Exhale. That little green undertone becomes a non-issue, and instead, it's all about beautiful, earthy taupe that comes to the forefront. Another combination of colors involves a gray and a darker brown, but not in the way that you might immediately think. So for the first color I wanna talk about here, it's called Carob. AF160, which to me really seems to resemble hot chocolate perfectly. It's a deep color with an LRV of 17.33, but it has such an unbelievably cozy feeling to it, mainly related to what it resembles visually. The pods found from carob trees have some similarities to cocoa, which is where that connection to chocolate comes in. The color pairing I would propose for it would be AF670 Nightingale. So let's talk about these two. You have a slightly taupe leaning gray right down the middle in depth, and it's obviously lighter than the previously mentioned carob. Most people's first impulse would be to use the gray on the walls and then have that dark brown as your accent color. But I would perhaps flip the script and use carob on the majority of the walls, with nightingale being your accent in the form of your fireplace mantle or room accents like furniture and throw pillows, or even on the doors and frames, especially if they're more intricate and you want them featured more. Now this combination isn't for everyone, or every space for that matter, but in those 
quote unquote feature rooms or those more upscale living rooms in your home. This combination can create a really great first impression and it has a lovely balance of timeless brown and modern gray coming together. I wanna to end off with a color pairing that is simple, subtle, yet delicate. And it features two colors that I use a lot in areas like nurseries, bedrooms, or even sunrooms and solariums. The first color is Benjamin Moore's Proposal, which is a light pink that has some vibrance to it. It's a bit cooler of a pink compared to the 2020 color of the year, First Light, which had a bit more of a peachy orange warmth added in. I like Proposal for the simple fact that it's subtle, yet a tried and true pink. Its paired color in this case is going to be a white, which means you could theoretically use it as the corresponding trim color, ceiling color, or even a paired wall color, either in the same room or a room close by. And it's the very first color in the Affinity Collection, AF5, Frostine. The best part of this combination is that touch of frigid icy blue-green in Frostine, which further brings the pink quality in Proposal to life. Now, if you had the impulse to dabble with some pinks in your color palette, check out this pairing specifically. But on the other hand, if you wanted something that feels a little more warm and inviting and perhaps a touch more versatile of a pink, then check out this video on First Light, Benjamin Moore's previous color of the year from 2020. I've seen it used in a variety of situations and just because it's not the current color, it's still just as relevant as it was a year ago. Like and subscribe and click all notifications so you don't miss out on the color content you crave. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.